Hello lovers, I'm Lucy and today we are talking about intimacy. Here is a question for you. How many different types of intimacy do you actually know? Here we are today to describe five different types. So I'm curious how many did you actually know about and how many are very new to you? You can let me know in the comments. So let's start from the top. We will start from the intimacy that most of you think about when we utter the word. And that is number one, the sexual intimacy. Um, that is pretty, that one is pretty straightforward. I'm sure that all of you have heard about that one. It is the physical connection, the closeness that involves the sexual activity uh, with another person. So, you know, all the sexual activities that I cannot speak about on YouTube. So I'll leave them up to your imagination. But I'm so let's move on to the second type, which might actually surprise you. It is the physical intimacy. And I'm saying this on purpose. Um, that is a second type away from the sexual. Why? In many relationships and in, in you know many people's minds, what we assume is that the physical is the same as the sexual. Sexual is also physical, but physical does not have to be always sexual. Does that make sense? So imagine that you are with your partner, but you touch them always with the purpose of getting into the bedroom. That's not very nice. Like you never hug them. You never like, you know, touch their arm without actually an outcome in your head, like a specific goal that you have, especially for me as a woman and many women out there, that's not proper physical intimacy. It lacks something. It is like consistently being demanded. Um, to be sexual and yet not have the time to actually just be in our body in a in being hugged and being held and being just touched for no purpose at all it is incredible what it can do to your psyche so if you are a woman might be a light bulb is now coming up like oh my god that's why i feel always on edge because he always wants to go into the bedroom and there is otherwise no contact whatsoever I've had it in my partnership and it's not the best feeling ever. So physical intimacy is really the small things that you do for no goal whatsoever, but to touch your partner. Let's go number three. So number three is emotional type of intimacy. So here we are, you know, co connecting physically in our bodies. But what about our emotions? It's one of those things that we all have all day long. Um, and it is something that we often talk about. How do you feel? What is being alive for you? What is happening in your body? Is it sadness? It is joy? It is passion? Um, even attraction, passion, you know, love, all of those are emotions to a certain degree. There are also places in our consciousness and like all whole frames of understanding of the world, but also there are emotions coming from the chemistry of our body. So being emotionally available to someone means that you are available also to share these emotions and creating the space where you can be safe in expressing all of your emotions, whether you are joyful, whether you are playful, whether you are sensual, whether you are angry, whether you are sad. But ultimately, the most freedom in relationship we can gain when we can be really truly ourselves and truth to be told we are all experiencing all sorts of emotions it must be said as well that a lot of people don't disclose their emotions and then we are dealing with issues in a society as suicide as depression anxiety and with people where no one knows about it and everyone is surprised that that actually happened and that is because we are disclosing and holding back our emotions so emotional intimacy is really beautiful way to connect with one another and is nothing to be feared. Number four, the fourth type of intimacy is also the mental or intellectual type of intimacy. So for me, it's an important part. There's even term that coins it and that's called sapiosexual. So it is when you're attracted to people because of their intelligence. So personally, I cannot date someone I cannot talk to. Within my intimate relationships, I desire to be with someone that I am drawn to physically. Um, I am, I know my space within their heart, but I also can talk about multitude of topics. That does not mean that we have to share each interest and be the same person. I don't want to date a copy of myself. I want to date someone who is interesting. But, you know, there are also things 
that we can share and there are also ways how we can talk about the things also that we don't have in common so we can communicate clearly we can resolve things we can you know discuss we can we can discuss we can um, debate and share the views of the world that we have and the last but not least is spiritual intimacy um, to me i don't hear many people talk about it unless um, someone's religious and they share their religion and they have rituals around um, their and they have rituals around their faith not many people actually like understand what spiritual intimacy really is we are all spiritual beings like you have born here as a soul as a spirit it's an important part of each and every one of us as a society we are learning to accept it and make those words absolutely normal um, to each and every human being so why not to make it also normal in our relationships to create that connection on a spiritual level can mean that you know you meditate together you learn how to manifest or my favorite as well is like you create rituals you create rituals that um you create rituals that invite devotion so you kind of imagine that you would go into temples and you would sit through a ceremony and it would be in devotion to the god so within the realms of sacred sexuality or tantra or you know sacred marriage we talk about divine feminine divine masculine so in a spiritual sense in a spiritual relation spiritual level of the relationship you could create a little ceremony where you are actually worshiping your partner but you are tapping into how to be devoted to the divine masculine inside of him to the divine feminine inside of her how to honor that how to see him or her as god so here we are that was pretty simple you have five types of intimacy the sexual the physical emotional mental and spiritual and in each relationship you want to have some tools how to cover all five of them um, I mean you don't have to be strong in every aspect with your partner you know it's very normal to have certain bridges with your partner they are very easy and they are very beautiful for you you can have incredibly strong um, mental connection right and then maybe the other parts are like it's like priorities so mental maybe is the first one for you or maybe the spiritual is the first one actually um, and then the other ones are there as well but maybe not in that like you know not in the same intensity it does not have to be that way but the more areas you involve the deeper and the wider the experience the deeper the connection and the wider the experience that you are actually creating together i hope this is easy to understand and if you are curious actually if you don't necessarily know how to bring all of these into your life um, check out my other video um, where I give you 15 different tips on how to do that from all five different types of intimacy and I'll see you there